Planet Dolan. Advertisers are all about trying to get into your head and create subliminal ideas without you noticing. How can they do that without even saying anything to you? Here are 15 of the sneakiest tricks being used to manipulate you into buying things every single day. I'm Danger Dolan, and today I will be your narrator. Number 15. You know how the food you buy never looks at all like it does in the commercials or pictures? Well, there's a whole industry devoted to making food look absolutely perfect. And ironically, a big part of that business involves making that food completely inedible. The syrup you see drizzled in those pancakes? Murder oil. The lovely white milk in cereal? Semen! No, I'm kidding. It's either glue or shampoo. The reason that hamburger bun looks so appetizing is because it's been painted with brown shoe polish. Mm-mm. Number 14. You'd never think it normally, but where text is placed in an ad makes a big difference. Even something as simple as whether the text and logo on the right side or the left side makes a huge difference in how our brains process it. The placement of the text changes depending on whether the ad is colorful or somber in turn. What kind of emotion it's supposed to get out of you? There are literal psychologists working on these things, helping advertisers get into your subconscious all the time. Number 13. Nothing spurs a purchase decision like the fear that you're on some sort of time limit. But here's the thing, the time is not that limited and the supplies will totally last. They're trying to get you to take action immediately, because if you don't, you'll likely just forget about it. Coincidentally, limited time, Dolan shirts, now on sale, five minutes, that's all we're gonna do guys, get on it. Number 12. A number of American retailers like to pretend they're gonna charge you 100 bucks for a $30 pair of jeans. Why? So they can trick you by saying it's 70% off when they actually sell it to you for 30 bucks. Macy's, Sears, JCPenney and Kohl's have all faced lawsuits for this fake sale pricing. Number 11. If an ad can hit you in the feels, it will. You're more likely to remember an ad if it affects you emotionally. That's why you see the dog waits for its human sadly ads about drunk driving. Why heartfelt stories about random acts of kindness go viral. Of course, when a commercial tries too hard to go for your feels, it can fail and have the opposite effect. Or it could just make you feel terrible, like all those ads about the kids waiting for the parents to come home, but they died in a car crash and I'm sitting there like, I just wanted to watch cartoons and have a good day, but I guess I'll feel sad now. Number 10. It's sort of unavoidable the dollar sign represents money, so when you see it on a restaurant menu, you associate it with spending money. The solution to this? Restaurants have started removing the dollar sign from the menu entirely. Some menus actually have numbers written out rather than in Arabic numerals, so there's even more of a disconnect in your brain while you're trying to add up the check in your head. Number 9. Advertisers are so good at their jobs, they already know what your first objection is going to be to their sales pitch, so they get out in front of it and try to respond to that criticism before you even make it. That makes them seem transparent and in touch with you, but it also makes them seem like cockheads who just won't leave you alone. Number 8. Different colors spur different subconscious emotions, and advertisers know that. There's a constant research being done into what colors generate strong emotions in their consumers, and brands today have that in mind when trying to market themselves. Number 7. Sometimes the trick isn't in what they're saying, it's what they're not saying. Many times a sales pitch to get you to buy something is loaded with seeds of doubt to get you to be leery of a competitor. A statement like, our products are 100% compatible with your system may not seem underhanded, but the immediate implication is that some of the other guys might not have compatible stuff. So immediately you're doubtful and uncertain about other products. This YouTube video will only play on the PS4, unlike some other guys. Number 6. Have you ever noticed that sometimes you start getting ads for a website after you visit it one time? That's retargeting. Salespeople know you're probably not going to make a snap decision to buy something the first time you see it, so they use retargeting ads to keep reminding you that they exist over and over and over so that when you make up your mind, you'll just be so sick of seeing it that you'll just want it. Just so it'll all end. Number 5. Pointing out manufacturing flaws. This is especially prevalent in the world of beauty products. After all, there's no better way to convince people they need beauty products than to tell them you're ugly as shit. Cosmetics companies will manufacture whatever images they can, no matter how falsified. The goal is to convince their customer base that there's an impossible standard of beauty to strive for, and that the only way to get there is with their products. Number 4. If you're walking through a store playing music, that music most likely isn't there on accident. Everything from the genre, to the volume, to the tempo, to even the key signature is calculated. 
Studies have shown that people are likely to spend more money when slow, sad music is playing at a low volume. A supermarket may be more suited to pop ballads, while an upscale department store is more likely to use classical music. Number 3. This, along with music choice and colour design, play into the business term called atmospherics. The idea behind this is that the overall feel of a store is as important as the product it sells. If you're shopping someplace that is too loud and smells bad, you're not going to want to go back and spend money. Scents are also used to make you feel hungry near restaurants or food courts. And likewise, that's why a lot of upscale clothing stores and places that do like teeth whitening all have the extremely white walls and neons and it just looks super fancy. Because then you feel snooty and rich. Number two. Social proof is a simple enough concept. It's basically throwing numbers at you. The concept is basically that lots of people before you have bought or used something, and that means it's trustworthy and satisfying. You know the McDonald's signs that say billions and billions served? It's a form of social proof. I should know, I'm part of Planet Dawn with millions and millions of subs, and what I say means a lot apparently because of that. Number one. One of the core tenets of customer service is that the smile has incredible power. So much so that it's hidden in a number of logos including Goodwill, LG, IHOP, Hasbro, and even Amazon. Smiles mean happiness, and every brand wants your brain to make the connection between their business and your happiness. What brand comes to your mind when you say the words happiest place on earth? This video was made possible by our fans over on Patreon. Thanks for your support, guys. That is it for this countdown. Have a good one!